Hey guys, I'm Evan Thorpe. This is our NFL lead writer, Stephen Ruiz, and he'll be breaking down how Sean McVay can attack Bill's Belichick's defensive scheme. So Stephen, what are we going to look at first? We're going to look at how the Chiefs kind of played against their own tendency to attack the Patriots secondary. And I think the Rams are going to be able to do something similar in Super Bowl 53. So in the first matchup between the Chiefs and the Patriots, Tyreek Hill had a big game. He had 142 yards, three touchdowns, and a lot of the damage came on these deep over routes, which looks a little something like this. He'll start running up the field and cross, go across, and this really helps him run away from his cornerback and the safety that they're using to double him. The Patriots use Devin McCourty to double him all game long. So what Andy Reid drew up for the second half of, this, of the AFC title game was Instead of having Tyreek Hill run that route, he had him start running that route. And when the Patriots defenders, these two guys, these two guys overplayed that, Tyreek Hill just cut back out to the outside. And we can kind of see how, what kind of effect that had in, on this next slide. You kind of see the safety right here in the middle of the field. That's Devin McCourty. He's kind of over, he's already running that route basically for Hill. He's anticipating that over route. And that makes things so much easier for Hill, who could just bend it out, like we said, and just go right there to the, the sideline. And then we see how wide open he gets after doing that. That's a lot of space. And Mahomes, one of the best quarterbacks in the league, is, has no problem making that throw. And there we see he makes the catch for like a 40-yard gain. Yeah, so if you're the Rams, you're likely have Cooks there, but they could also put Woods in that position. And if you're Jared, Gro Jared Goff, do you think that he can make this throw late in the game in a crucial moment. We saw him have a big impact in the second half versus the Saints game, but this play, you got to take advantage of it when you mm -hmm. get those opportunities, especially with a disciplined defense like the Patriots. Can he make that adjustment? I think that's the key. I mean, with him, it's kind of been up and down all season, 50-50. We saw him in the Vikings game. He made a lot of these throws against the Bears, not so much. Against the Patriots, if he capitalizes on these opportunities, and I think he's going to get them because McVay is so good at creating these opportunities, mm -hmm. then I, I think that's what they need to have success against this defense. Uh, next up, I think we're going to look at a uh, bunch formation mm -hmm. that the Rams typically like to use, but we're seeing it from the Titans. And the Titans had a lot of success against the Patriots defense this game, but let's talk about this play and how they attack their defense. And this play is from Matt LaFleur, the new Packers coach, who was the Rams offensive coordinator before taking the same role with the Titans this year. And what we see here, we see this bunch, and this is how the Patriots like to defend the bunch. They like to put this this uh, first defender, they like to press him against the point man in the bunch, and he's going to take him no matter where he goes. And then this second defender right here, Stephon Gilmore, the inside guy, he's going to take whoever, whichever one of these receivers runs inside, he's going to take them, and the outside guy will do the same with the outside route. So what the Titans do, and I think this was a smart move on their part, was they kind of played against his leverage, knowing that if he fakes outside and goes back, this is the guy that's going to take him. All right, he's going to start outside, then work back to the post. This guy is going to run an out route, and then this guy is going to take, going to run the drag. So what we're going to see here is Gilmore is going to take that inside guy, like we said. He's going to run there. He's going to run with the out route. So it's basically McCourty on Corey Davis. I think they'll they'll put Robert Woods in this in this spot because I believe that Gilmore will take on Robert Woods. Mm -hmm. So you'll have him try to run outside and then work against his leverage and catch this post route. And let's go to the next slide. And we can kind of see this, their routes expressing themselves. He's going inside and Gilmore has eyes on him. He's going outside, this guy's taking him and he's kind of finding this guy and deciding how to cover him. And then there we see the result. You see this cushion right here, he's got like a yard or two of cushion and he's working away from it. This should be an easy throw for him. What the key is here is Mariota's placement on the throw. I think he's got to get it to this A, right over the A, just to keep it so Gilmore can't undercut the route and he doesn't get this guy back into the play with the throw. Unfortunately, that's not what happens. Mariota leaves the throw inside, he leaves it high, and McCourty's able to get back in the play and contest it and it's an incompletion. The key will be the Rams taking advantage of these opportunities. Mm -hmm. Jared Goff makes that throw, it's a touchdown, and he should be able to make that throw. It's an easy throw. All right, now show us how the running back can have a big productive day in a pass game, especially if Gurley comes back and is at least healthy compared to what we saw against the Saints. 
Yeah, and so we're going to look at another play from this AFC title game, and it's a play the Chiefs have run a lot against the Patriots over the last two years. They ran it the first time in the season opener in 2017 and got a big touchdown with Kareem Hunt working up the seam. The first game this year, they did the same route with Kareem Hunt. He was wide open, but Mahomes missed the throw. And then they ran it, actually they ran it twice in this game. The running back got open both times, but they didn't connect on the throw. Mm -hmm. So this is the route they're, they're trying to hit. It's this running back running out of the backfield and going up the seam. And how they open this throw and kind of open this window is they have Tyree Kill motion pre-snap. That kind of widens out the defense. These second level defenders are gonna widen out with them. He influences them. This guy who's covering Tyree Kill has to come all the way across. And then he's gonna bend his route up. And the reason for that is to take Devin McCourty out of the field, out of the middle of the field, because he was doubling Hill all game long. So that kind of drags him out and opens up that window. And then underneath, uh, it's I don't think, th I think this is more of a decoy, but you have him coming right here, running the sit route, and then this mesh concept where these two are kind of running picks for each other. You saw the Eagles run this a lot against this Patriots defense, something they were probably guarding against, against the Andy Reid offense. So that's gonna occupy all the second level defenders' eyes and keep this open. And then we'll go to the next slide and see the result of that. We kind of see the motion, we see him coming out. We see McCourty's eyes are already there. And then this is the result. Right here is what you're looking for. You have a linebacker, a running back on a linebacker and basically a foot race down the field. You see McCourty right here. He's going out to get Hill, leaving all of this space. And then these guys are occupying these defenders. Right here, you have this tight end running the sit route. You kind of see the linebacker pointing it out, but he's helpless. He can't help because if he helps, he's wide open. If he stays, he's still wide open down the seam. Mahomes is pressured, as you can see in the pocket here. He's pressured, and he can't really make the throw. I think he has time to step up, and he does step up and create separation, but he decides to scramble instead of throwing, which I think would have been a touchdown because you only have one defender here to tackle him, and that's one-on-one -on -one with all this space. I mean, that's hard for a tackler to bring him down. Now, is this play so useful because so much attention is being used on Hill? The fact that the safety kind of has to step away from the middle of the field, like a middle fielder in baseball, and just attack this guy right here? I think it helps in this case, but I don't necessarily think you need Hill. You, you don't need a threat like Hill to, to for this play to work. It's mm -hmm. worked many times. It was popular throughout the league last year and worked almost every time. And we're gonna see an example of the Rams actually running this same play where they don't have a guy like Hill threatening like that. Obviously the formation's different. We have a receiver down here to, to the side of the running back and he's gonna run a vertical route to occupy this cornerback. Then we're gonna have Gurley. Gurley's gonna run that same route we've been talking about up the seam. You have the tight end. This is the guy that's occupying the free safety in this route design. He's running like an over route, and then you have him running up the seam. So you have him occupying, you have him occupying this corner, you have him occupying the free safety, and you have him occupying this cornerback. And then we have a motion. This, he's kind of playing the Tyreek Hill role where he's motioning across the formation before the snap, and then he's just stopping here. And that's gonna draw not only this guy, but these linebackers too, which sucks them up and keeps this throw open. And we're gonna go to the next slide and see kind of the result of that. You can see how that motion with Austin in the backfield right here is, he's got these guys' eyes, they're all looking, he's stepping up. And then the next slide we see right here is what, this is what it's all for is to get this matchup. That's a linebacker on Todd Gurley, just on, in a foot race downfield. You have the tight end running across. He's occupying the free safety. The free safety's got his eyes here because this linebacker over pursued Tavon Austin over here. Mm -hmm. So now you just have, that's just pitch and catch with a wide open window. And then we see the next slide. He's wide open, he's caught the ball and now it's just one-on-one -on -one in the middle of the field like we saw with the Chiefs play. And if he gets past this defender, he's and going to the six. house. And that's exactly what happened. Todd Gurley took this to the house. And I think he's gonna have the same opportunity against the Patriots because they lack athleticism on the second level. If that's a Dante Hightower, that's a touchdown every time against Todd Gurley. That's who the Chiefs attacked specifically 
in that first game with Kareem Hunt. All right, well, there you have it. Those are the ways McVay needs to attack Bill Belichick. Thank you, Stephen, mm -hmm. for the breakdown. Uh, catch us next week as we will play a preview of the Super Bowl. I will be the Rams, and I'll be using everything Stephen <laughs> has shown us today, and you'll be the Patriots. And I'll have counters. All right, well, catch you guys next week. Mm -hmm.